Hey memers and streamers, it's Fracken here again. So today's video is on shooping. Do it again! Or uh, more specifically, shooping as a titan. Impressive! Uh, now you're probably asking the obvious question of, well, what the heck is shooping? Yes! Well, shooping is just the name that I've given to basically uh, the uh, abuse of your charged melee as a movement technique or a, maybe a movement multiplier or movement boost, uh, whatever you would want to call it. And uh, this is something you've probably seen people do, uh, you know, especially if you're doing stuff like playing Crucible and stuff. Uh, you'll often see people using this, or anything competitive, really. But uh, so anyway, let's dive in and see what this is all about. So for those of you that are a little bit more impatient and just kind of want the information right away, I'll just kind of give you a quick overview uh, of what I'm doing here. So basically scroll skating, you know, scroll skating, I mean, we've been doing this in the game from the, right from the very get-go. Uh, scroll skating is straightforward, it's just running and then having your uh, scroll wheel bound to the jump. Because uh, remember, in Destiny, you can have more than one bind for a particular thing, right? So in my case, I can either use the keyboard to jump or I can uh, scroll my scroll key. So uh, to perform this maneuver, all you're doing is you're using your charged melee. Now, to proc the melee, you can't just be walking and hit it, because if you do, as you can see, I, I'm, I'm doing that right now, I'm hitting my charged melee, nothing is happening. You have to be running for that to be procced. Okay, now this is where uh, you start kind of having to chain stuff together. So scroll skating here scroll skate two times one two charge melee run now when i say run what i mean is i have to hit the run button again and the reason is this i'm going to do this without hitting the run button and show you what happens so do 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 and now we're walking because as soon as you hit your charge melee it uh, it actually cancels your run so you you have to uh uh basically you know integrate a way of dealing with that into your muscle memory or, or the flow of how you're doing it. So for me, what I do is uh, I have about a quarter of a second delay between when I hit the charged melee and I hit run. So just to kind of speak this out as I'm doing it, so it'll be melee run, melee run, melee run. And you'll notice that I'm actually hitting run before my feet are on the ground. Um, but, uh, and, and the reason for that is simple because, you know, doing uh, movement techniques like this, what you're trying to do is optimize every aspect uh, of, of your, uh, you know, key inputs, whatever. You know, you're trying to shave off every last fraction of a second of time to optimize whatever it is that you're doing. But uh, that's the basics of it. Uh, so let's uh, dive in and actually have a look at uh, some more details. One of the first things that you're going to have to remember is that when you're uh, doing this shoot maneuver, you're using your charged melee and you're doing it while you're moving. So what that means is that whatever key that you pick for your binding, it should be very easy for you to get at and it shouldn't interfere with anything else. So, you know, for most people, your uh, default bindings for movement would be, you know, WASD. And if you looked at my keypad, basically, uh, the charge melee would be in the same position as what the number two on your uh, uh, numbers are above your uh, WASD, right? But you can, realistically, you can bind it anywhere. It doesn't matter. Just so long as that while you're running or holding W, you can do that charged melee button and it doesn't interfere with anything, right? Um, now, the other bind that we're uh, doing here is with the scroll skating. And uh, since we're kind of doing part and parcel, you know, doing them both. Might as well show that as well. So, like I say, if we looked at the charged melee, it's on its own bind, which is different from regular melee. Now, the other thing that's important to remember is that if you're using the charged melee for movement, you got to be careful because it's really easy to accidentally hit somebody with the actual charged melee. And once it's gone, it feels like it takes forever for it to, to eventually, uh, you know, recharge itself. Um, now, the other one that's important is the, uh, the scroll wheel for scroll skating. And uh, so, let's see here, where's jump? Okay, so jump is right here, so you can see that I've got it uh, bound to my scroll wheel. 
So that's the two important binds, right? You have the, uh, the charged melee and you have the scroll wheel for your jump. And, and I'll, I'll just hit the regular spacebar as well. See, this is spacebar or the equivalent of in my setup. And then this is doing the same thing, but with the scroll wheel. So, so that's the uh, keybind setup that you will need in order to learn to do this. Okay, so you've got your keybinds all set up and you've got everything sorted out and you know what keys you're going to be using for, uh, for both your scroll skating and your uh, uh, shooping as well. So, what's next? Okay, well, let's do a quick primer on scroll skating basically by itself in isolation. So, again, scroll skating is basically nothing more than just using your scroll wheel uh, while you're running. So, I'm just holding the forward button and I'm scrolling the scroll wheel at the same cadence that you hear. So scroll, scroll, scroll. The cadence that you do it with is very important. Uh, you, you can't just, you know, you, you can't just kind of whip it back. If, if you just kind of scroll real quick, this, this is what happens. Basically, <laughs> virtually nothing. You just kind of do a little bunny hop. Uh, the other thing is, is if you do it too slow, what can end up happening is that Sometimes you'll accidentally end up jamming your backpack on. <clears throat> so it'll kind of look like something like this. And you'll be like, oh, what's going on? Ah, and then you get shot in the midair. So, uh, you know, it's best to just kind of practice this in isolation. So just kind of just get used to the cadence where, you know, you're, you're getting all two or three puffs out of the backpack. You, you can hear if you listen, poo, 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 you can hear all three of them. Right? And in order to do that, you have to scroll fast enough, but not too fast. It, it has a very certain feel to it. And uh, so, actually, I'll just overlay the, uh, the hand cam example again of this here so you can kind of see what's going on. But uh, so anyway, that's that. Um, you know, it's not exactly rocket science. Just make sure that you're uh, using an appropriate jump. And remember, this only works for Titan, right? Again, in my case, I'm using strafe lift. Uh, catapult lift will also work. But the reason why I stick with strafe lift is because I can still do this, right? If you use catapult lift, you, you can't do this, right? So, uh, you know, with strafe lift, you have two ways of moving with haste. You can either jump boost or you can scroll skate. And now here's the other interesting thing about uh, the, the whole scroll skating thing. One of the issues with Destiny is it's really, really bad for canceling the run animation. So, you know, anything that you do tends to want to try and cancel the run animation. And if you're in a Crucible match and you're trying to get somewhere and you, you expect to be running, but you're walking, that can be a heck of a thing. So the interesting thing about using the scroll wheel for movement is that you, even though it looks here like I'm running, I'm actually not. I'm actually walking. And you'll notice that this is actually about the same speed as running. Very close to it. So go back to walking. So this is walking while scrolling, and this is running. So as you can see, they're about the same speed. The other interesting thing uh, about using the scroll wheel for movement is that you can move left and right a lot faster than you normally can, right? So let's just... Uh, pick a spot. Let's say we'll go from here to out there. So, you know, this would be the speed that you would strafe that at. Okay. Can't see where it is under my feet. Oh, we're, we're past it already. Let's see here. No, that's, that's kind of a poor... You know what? We'll do it somewhere else here. Yeah, because if I bonk into that, then I know. Okay, so we'll use that as a reference. Okay, so if I strafe left... This is how long it takes me to get there. Bonk. But if I do that same exact thing, but I use the scroll wheel, I get there a lot quicker. So it is helpful to, to uh, have your scroll wheel bound to jump, you know, regardless. Um, now, the other thing that we need to cover is using the shoop. So, you know, like I said before, make sure that you've got it bound in a place where using that key doesn't interfere with anything else because you're using it while you're running, right? And uh, now the other uh, thing to remember is that generally speaking, you will not be using it while you're moving left and right, right? Because it won't even proc. You have to be running. So, you know, you can kind of keep that in mind while you're choosing. 
you know, it you don't need to worry about interfering, you know, with your left and right keys as far as choosing key binds. The only one that you really need to worry about is you have to be able to use it while you're running forward. So, okay. So, uh, as far as proccing the actual charged melee, you'll notice that if I do it right away, nothing happens, right? So there's a certain amount of time that's required before it will proc. And if you're really, really trying to move fast and you're using the scroll skating, what I do is I basically wait and do it every second hop, right? So it's hop, hop, shoop. Hop, hop, shoop. Now, there's one other important part here that I wanna cover. And it's the timing as to when to use the shoot. So I want you to look at my forward momentum while I'm scroll skating. You'll notice that I get a little bit of a burst of speed and then just before I hit the ground, I, I slow down. So what I'm trying to do is time that shoot just, just before my momentum or just after my, my momentum initially starts to drop from the scroll. So right about there, right at that point, just before your feet hit the ground, seems to be about optimal. And uh, now another interesting thing about the, 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 uh, the scroll skating thing um, is sometimes it's also helpful to wait a fraction of a second to get your momentum moving before you start. And, and I'll show you why. This is what happens if you scroll and run at the same time. You didn't really get very far, right? Now watch what happens if we do the same thing by just waiting a fraction of a second. We got a lot further than we did, right? So sometimes, you know, this stuff just comes down to basically learning to be able to do it with finesse. Um, now, when you're chaining them together, right? It's just scroll, scroll, shoot, scroll, scroll, shoot, and that, that's that's really all there, there is to it. Just, you know, I mean, I can sit here and talk about this endlessly, but realistically, just get your keybinds kind of figured out. Go and try it. That, that, trying it is really the best way of, uh, of kind of learning what this is all about. So now that we've covered the basics of how you actually do the whole shooping thing and the scroll skating and all that jazz and how to tie them all together and all of those details, uh, there are advanced uses of this stuff that go beyond basically just, you know, using it to move with haste. And now, now, don't get me wrong. Using this for, uh, you know, just basic movement of getting somewhere quickly is an incredibly powerful tool. Um, you know, as much as I dislike the new rift mode, uh, you know, using the scroll skating and shoot move to get around the map is like an incredibly powerful way of basically, you know, getting there before anybody else does if you've got the spark. Um, but it's also helpful for other things too, right? Uh, like as an example, you know, say you want to, peak a lane like something like this here and I'll see if I can do this with a little bit of finesse considering it's two o'clock in the morning right now but anyway so when somebody's staring down a sniper lane um, you know if you don't know this already you can tell if the enemy is staring at you uh, with a sniper rifle because they they it's almost like a red uh, flashlight that looks at you uh, in fact it looks very much like those two red lights right there so if I was to peek out and somebody was staring at me with a sniper rifle I would see a very bright red spot somewhere. In fact, let's find a different spot. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to overlay uh, some examples that I recorded in that exact spot with a friend earlier. But uh, it, it, it's a good example of, you know, using that particular move in that uh, exact scenario there. Um, and it's also very, very helpful for getting across uh, a lane uh, very, very quickly, like as an example here. Um, you know, getting back here, say, you know, we got somebody staring at us and we want to, I don't know, make it over to there, you know, and we know they are hard scoped. So, well, I didn't proc it properly before I went. Okay. You know, you can just, and now you're in there, right? So, very helpful for, uh, you know, crossing lanes that you would not otherwise want to cross. Uh, it's also very helpful for peaking lanes. Um, you know, we'll use this, uh, even though I said I wasn't going to use this one, <laughs> we'll use it again anyway. So, uh, you know, pretend there's somebody staring at us with a sniper rifle down there. and We're going to pretend, uh, actually, you know, we'll pretend both those red lights are snipers that are staring at us down this lane. So what happens if I want to peak that lane? Am I just going to do this? No, because it's going to be, bam, I'm dead instantly, right? 
even a single good player, basically, you know, just, just doing that and you're dead. So let's say you want to peak that lane. Well, you can do something like this, right? And then while you're boosting across there, you get a pretty good look, right? Or you can use the scroll wheel again, right? Which is even a little more unpredictable. So, you know, it's like, okay, I want to peek that. There we go. Okay. You can also use the shoot maneuver. Okay. So we're going to proc it a little bit here. Whoop. Buggered that up. Need to figure out what exactly what it is I'm trying to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to float out, have a look down this lane, and then I'm going to shoot back. Okay. So let's try this. There. Okay. So we're going to do that again. We're going to jump, have a leak. No, we don't want it. And we're just immediately out there, right? And what I'm doing is I'm looking for those little red lights. So let's do that again. Proc it. That's all we're doing running into the wall. So jump, boost. Nope, don't want it. Oh. Now, you're not spending very much time out there, right? But if you're looking for something as simple as a, as a, a bright light, it will stand out where, you know, even that fraction of a second that you're out there looking, that's enough to actually see what it is that's down there. But there's all kinds of interesting ways that you can use uh, the shoot maneuvers, right? Um, it, it's something that if, if you're interested in playing at a higher level, you absolutely, absolutely should be integrating it into your toolkit, right? But uh, yeah, so I think that pretty much covers just about everything that I can think of that uh, has to do with shooping. It's, it's really not rocket surgery, it, you know, just get good key bindings, you know, kind of watch what other people are doing with it and, and just play around with it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Anyhow, guys, that's it for now. I hope you guys are having a good one and we will catch you next time. GG's and seven threes.